Okay, folks. Welcome back to more CTGP. I think today we're gonna play as... I like Toadette. And we'll be a little guy again. Alright. Uh, today, I've kind of got it between do I want to be in the Cheap Charger or the Tiny Titan. Ah, uh, I like Cheap Charger. It looks so cool. <laughs> Even if it's extremely lightweight, it's still a fun vehicle to use. Folks, we only have six circuits left to do. So, three more videos and we're done with CTGP. So today we're on the Acorn Mushroom Cup. We've got Halogen Highway, Item Fireland, Daisy Hills, and Pianta Shore. You can call it Daisy Hillside if you want. I know that's your dumb rename for Daisy Hills. I don't know why, but whatever. There we go. So, we'll see, we'll see how things go. Halogen Highway first. Oh, dude, this looks sick. All right, I like the appearance of this already. It's like a weird mix of like, Moonview Highway and Koopa Cape and Rainbow Road. All right, not, not my three favorite tracks in the game, but you know, maybe it's greater than the sum of its parts. We'll just see. I'll get the Moonview Highway music, yes. Oh my gosh. Watch me regret picking the cheap charger. Uh. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> I literally went straight off the ramp and it just went in the water. You didn't turn left. You didn't just know to turn left. Okay, two different ways we can go. I hear Donkey Kong. That's the equivalent of falling off? That wasn't obvious. I could go for a bullet bill right about now. That'll also work. I'm gonna chain this though. Okay, the tubes can make it a little difficult to see which way you want to go. Really? I like the appearance of this course, but some of these turns are not obvious which way to go. Oh great, a gold mushroom on an unfamiliar course with crazy turns. Okay, well, we're on lap two now. That's nice. I did it again. Okay, you literally just have to know to turn all the way left to get it. I hate that. That is bad design. This is a very weird map. Oh, okay, I want to go left this time. It's actually probably like a perfect mirror. Okay, go straight here. Do not follow the road. Follow the rainbow goop. Once again, I'll hold on to this to try and chain it. Alright, I'm starting to catch up to the pack a little bit. I don't like the bumps right before that. If you're not, if you're going at like top speed, you're just gonna skip that jump and fall in the drink. What was that? I'm starting to remember why I don't usually use the cheap charger, because my gosh, it bounces in the craziest, most unpredictable ways. I kind of need a bullet bill, folks.
Okay, we're in sixth place. We're in the top 50% now. Oh boy, a power block. Actually, if I'm up against CPUs, the power block's not the worst power up. I passed someone along the way somehow. All right, that's cool. Is Donkey Kong in first place? Aw, oh, heck no. I thought Donkey Kong was really far behind. Mushrooms in four. I'll take it. But I'm not using them right here. Will Busho actually work in my favor for once? Bowser Jr. Try to knock me off. <gasps> the snipe. All right, I'll take third place. Wow, alright. That course was interesting. I like the theming of that course. I just think there were a couple parts that were very poorly designed. So make make a couple touch-ups there and that could be a pretty awesome course. But, man, I hated that ramp where it's like, oh, you just have to turn left, but there's no advance warning you have to do that. That That's never a good thing. Also, some of those turns were crazy. Item Fire Land. As opposed to Fire Item Land? Man, they do love their lava courses in this. Well, we get Grumble Volcano or We Bowser Castle. I'm guessing it'll be one of those two. I like the lightning bolt. Yep, Grumble Volcano. Oh, I hate how bouncy this car is. Oh! Okay, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> it's literally just like, you drive the new boom! You should get shot out of an invisible cannon. Oh boy, we get to fall in lava. Kind of hard to see which way to go. Wow, the combo. Move it, Diddy Calm. No pity for Diddy and all that. Doggone it! It's twice now I fired a red shell, and it's like a psych invisible cannon destroys the red shell. I'm a little nervous to try to take that pal block platform. All right, all right. Not a bad course. There's a couple. There's a couple of parts where the turns are maybe a little unfair. Not super unfair, but more just I wish there was more advanced warning. I also don't like the invisible cannon. Otherwise, though, not a bad. Not a bad track. Let's see if we can keep our lead. Actually, the Pal Block Island, ouch. Pal Block Island, you might need a mushroom to get through. There we go. Victory! Oh good, Donkey Kong one second. That evens up the, the playing field. Alright. Two-way tie for first and then a two-way tie for third. Cool. And we still got two tracks left. Alright, those two tracks had their issues, but they were they were fine. 
Let's see what the next ones are. Daisy Hills. Okay, this is a pretty boring track. Really, the only thing I liked about it in Mario Kart 7 was the... Uh, why was that upside down? Okay, this this intro view is very glitched. That's that's great. The only thing I really liked about this one in Mario Kart 7 was the music, and we're not even gonna get the music. We're probably gonna get like Delfino Square or whatever, or Moo Moo Meadows. Wow, Baby Mario took both power-ups in the smallest vehicle. Really? It hit me like the frame before it wore off. Come on. Uh, why is it blasting me to the roof? That was weird. Not sure why it blasted me to the roof and it blasted everybody else to the normal part of the track. Maybe it's depending on where on the, like, boost pad you hit. I'll try to hit it a little farther to the left this time. Ooh, free mushroom. Okay, yeah, that time I hit it closer to the middle and it... Okay, so I guess if you hit the far right side of that, it'll put you up on the roof. Really? At least I got really good acceleration. Diddy Kong, how the heck did you not shrink? Fell victim to the blunder of throwing green shells forwards. Alright, Diddy Calm. Take the turn tighter than you. Oh, and they still tried to hit me with a banana peel, but it didn't work. And Donkey Kong wins second again! No, Diddy Kong wins second. Okay. Interesting. So there we go. We are just barely ahead of Diddy Kong. We gotta beat Diddy Kong on this next race, otherwise he wins overall. I mean, Daisy Hills, it's an okay track. It's nothing really special. It's just, it's just kind of mediocre. It exists. It's fine. I'll take it. All right, what was the last track again? Pianta Shore. Okay. This, this could be good or it could be bad. We'll just have to wait and see. We got those nice buildings. I like the windmills. I do like the beaches. All right, all right, all right. Piantas are cheering. Yay, yay, yay. So excited. I am in the uh, a fitting vehicle for this. Nighty mini. Ow. All right. Diddy Kong is being a huge little butt monkey. Oh, we get the Peach Beach music, not the Delfino Square music. That's a good start. Boop Bowser Jr. I gotta, I gotta hit Diddy Kong. He deserves it. Ooh, I like the, I like the, the helix there. That was fun. All right, all right. I'm, I'm digging the overall design of this track. Judicious use of boost panels. Let's see if they get hit by that fake power. Ow! Thanks for giving me no warning until it was too late to pull out my green shell. Yikes! Oh, 
Okay, this is a track that looks like it has a lot of actually cool shortcuts. I just wish that I had a mushroom to take them. This is good. Diddy Calm is not in the top two. In fact, he just got hit. Oh, yes. This is clutch. Okay, this is actually a pretty fun track. I was a little worried because I had Pianta in the name, and normally the Mario Sunshine theme tracks are not that great. But this is an exception. I like how the scenery changes just often enough to keep you interested. And it's not too long of a track. It's just very well made. This is, this is awesome. Definitely the highlight of the cup. Again, I wish I had a mushroom to take that shortcut, but what you gonna do? Yes, Diddy Kong's far behind. Oh, and this is a great track for the cheap charger. Oh no, Diddy Kong caught up to third. That's okay. We still beat him. That was awesome. That was a great track. Great way to finish off the cup. Which is good, because the other free tracks were just kind of okay. But I, I like I like finishing on a really nice track. That was fantastic. We get first place! Yeah! Rank B. Well, yeah, I guess that's understandable. I fell off a lot on that first track. Alright, so after Toadette, we're gonna play as... Wario. I want to try Wario Flame Flyer because, my gosh, that's an awesome looking car. It's a win. Yeah, it's a win. Let's go, Wario. All right, next cup, we have the Shy Guy Cup. We have Woohoo Island, probably Woohoo Loop, Banished Keep, Nizwo Desert, and Wetland Woods. I think Banished Keep is a really... Oh, wait, no. Banished Keep, I think, is the really good track. Never mind. Okay. So, Woohoo Island. I'm pretty sure this will be Woohoo Loop from Mar uh, Mario Kart 7, which is a okay track. It's not fantastic. Is it Woohoo Loop? Sure looks like Woohoo Loop. Yep, that that is Woohoo Loop 100%. All right. At least we know it's not going to have any unfair turns. So, I'm game. That's a go, Wario! I love the flame pattern on Wario's flame flyer. I also like the flame flyer. One of my favorite parts. <laughs> oh my gosh, that fa Oh! Take that, Bowser Jr. Move it. I'm a Wario. I'm a gonna win. <laughs> Let's go. And it's one giant lap around the Woohoo Island. Which is good. If this was more than one lap, it would be way too much. This this was back... Mario Kart 7 was made in, like, when for some reason Nintendo was just obsessed with Woohoo Island. I don't know why. Let's make a game about Woohoo Island. Now let's make another game about Woohoo Island. Let's put like five Woohoo Island like things in Mario Kart 7. Let's add Woohoo Island as a course in Super Smash Bros. It's like nobody asked for this. Woohoo Island's not even that cool. Flame Fire is amazing if you can drift with it, but if you have to not do a non-drift, it sucks. Thankfully, it's drifting is good enough that it can drift pretty much anywhere. It's also extremely fast, as well as having a solid weight stat. And a pretty good mini turbo stat as well. All in all, just a very solid vehicle. Alternate path you can take towards the lighthouse, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea to do.
And there we go. Easy win for Woohoo Loop as Wario. All right, it's a fair, it's a fairly solid track. Again, nothing really special about Woohoo Loop. Just you know, it's solid. Pretty average. I'll give it a pass. I think it's enjoyable to play from time to time. All right, next up is Banished Keep. Is this the one I think it is? Okay, this track is awesome. There's so many shortcuts on this track, and it's just really, really well designed. Okay, yes, yes. Banished Keep is great. I have played on this, and I have seen Troy play on this as well. So, look at that mini-map. Complicated, but fair, from what I remember. And we get one of the Bowser Castle themes. There's also several different routes you can take. I have no idea which one is the fastest, so I'm just <laughs> racing where the will of the winds takes me. So good! That way needs a mushroom to go across. If you're wondering why it's like, that one looks like a shortcut. It is a shortcut, but if you don't have a mushroom, good luck. There are also some 200cc exclusive shortcuts for this track. Or require you to have, like, a gold mushroom or something. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> that looked like that was the way you were supposed to go. Alright. Minus one point for Banished Keep. It definitely looked like you were supposed to be on that part of the track when you were falling. Yeah, yeah, this is not Funky Bike Wii. It's Mario Kart Wii, but it should be Wario Kart. Let's go. This even looks like a great course. Okay, yeah. Did you see that ramp on, like, the wall there? It's a tiny ramp. That, if you, I think if it's 200cc and you have some mushrooms, you can take a crazy alternate route shortcut. But, uh... We are not playing on 200cc with multiple mushrooms, are we? Man, I'm, not, I'm not falling off again. Ugh. I apparently moved sideways after I got a boost forwards. That was great. <gasps> we got a mushroom. Alright, I'm gonna try to save this to take the shortcut. You can boost across the grass there, but I got big plans for this. That's a long cut, but it has an extra power-up. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Yeah, that ramp right there. Okay, yeah, that's a fantastic custom course. There's the one part where it looks like you jump and you land, but it's like, oh, you have to jump in a different spot than it looks like. I don't like that, but otherwise, that course is phenomenal. So, very very good job. I can see why that's regarded as one of the best of the custom tracks, because very, very solid. Very, very high tier. 
Next, we're off to Nizwo Desert. Okay. I don't know what that stands for, but it looks looks pretty solid. It's a, it's a volcanic desert. We've had this before. But you know, maybe this will do it better. Grumble Volcano, Dry Dry Ruins, or Desert Hills? Dry Dry Ruins, please. Yes. Alright, who dares try to hit the great mighty Wario while he's racing his heart out in his favorite sport? Man, it's so nice racing out. Oh, that's a cannon. Okay. Did not look like a cannon. Oh, wow. Wah! <laughs> Don't like that. It's just so nice to race on a course where the sand doesn't behave like ice for no reason. No! That freaking sucks. What could I have done? The half pipe forced me off a cliff. I was even holding the brake button with all my might. Wally Ouija. It's a lot of banana peels I'm getting handed. Move it, Daisy. What have you even done to deserve a spot in Mario Kart? Okay. This time we're gonna break before going over the boost ramp. Yeah, yeah, you deserve that, Daisy. That's what you get for trying to beat the Wario! <laughs> Okay, this is a pretty awesomely designed course. I don't like that the slab at the end with the half pipe. But beyond that, this is a great course. I love the winding turns, the the wide drifts. Love the theming. Music choices on point. This is just a very fantastically made course. I'm worried though. I've got a pretty decent lead, but if a blue shell were to come, I think I would lose all of it, thanks to my rather lackluster acceleration. Oh no, oh no, 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 no! Please don't spawn me in a bad place. That was a pretty, no! Oh my gosh! That was way too close. Now I know why they call it Nizwo Desert. <laughs> Not really, though. But there we go. Whew! That was way too close at the end. Yeah, that one freaking slab with the half pipe at the end is the only bad part of that course. The rest of it was fantastic. All right, now we've got Wetland Wood. It's All right, I like woods. I like wetlands. This could be a good combination. Or it could just be Koopa Cape. Doesn't look like Koopa Cape, though. Just don't play the Koopa Cape music, please. They're totally going to, though. I hope for DK Jungle Parkway. Or DK Mountain. Nope, they put the freaking Koopa Cape music in. I don't like the Koopa Cape music. That's, that's all that I hear when I hear the Koopa Cape music. Okay, let's, let's hold off on that. Really? At least it's just the first lap. We can absolutely catch up from that. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Move a peach in the super blooper. Alright, let's see. Is there like a mushroom shortcut somewhere I could take? 
I'll just get a new power up. Ooh boy. Never said a triple mushrooms. Oh no, baby peach. Oh, poor baby. Once again, this is one of those like, oh, you didn't know you had to drift this direction before going over the jump to avoid hitting the wall? I don't I don't like that. Otherwise, though, this is a fine course. Oh my gosh, was that like a giant bone fin in the water there? Because if so, that's pretty hype. Yeehaw! Yeah, because that's in the freaking same spot as the red shell last time. Are you serious? Man, they really are trying to hit me to, down in the gap again. Come on, Bullet Bill. Gold Mushroom, that's... Ow! Come on, yeah. That Gold Mushroom might have ruined me. Also, what kind of a shortcut is this? <laughs> it's not a shortcut, that is a massive long cut. Bullet Bill. That doesn't even matter. Track's already over. Wow, I got screwed royally on that one. Pretty sure that means I don't even win the tournament. Nope, Daisy beat me by one freaking point. Boo, that freaking sucked. I got hit three times at that ramp. That's, that's like the only reason I lost. I could have taken that shortcut at the end better. And also, that didn't even look like a shortcut. I don't know why that was there. Alright, well that leaves a sour taste in my mouth. And unfortunately, that's the end of the video, I guess. Freaking Daisy won, but at least we get that shiny silver platinum-ish trophy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Only got two more videos left of CTGP, so we'll be conquering the next two cups next time. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and God bless everybody.